divers, and music lovers, the Florida Keys' Underwater Music Festival provides the best of both worlds. Have you ever thought of attending an underwater party? If yes, your eccentric dream has come true at the Florida Keys' Underwater Music Festival. This quirky celebration is held annually at Saturday after July 4th. Located at a depth of 20 feet below the surface, the rippled sand of the ocean floor off the coast of the Florida Keys might be an unlikely spot to host a music festival. But that hasn't stopped music enthusiasts from diving underwater to rock out. The concert is held at Louis Key Reef, which is a part of the world's third largest and North America's only living coral reef. Bill Becker founded the festival for public entertainment as well as to raise awareness for coral reef preservation. For the past 35 years, this stretch of paradise about six miles south of Big Pine Key, one of the islands that make up the archipelago, has hosted the Underwater Music Festival, an event that pairs music with conservation. Before we get into more details, just a reminder that there is a bonus fact for you towards the end of the video. With that being said, let's get into it. Number 1. A Two-Day Festival Over the years, the event has gone from being a small grassroots effort put together by a few locals, including former disc jockey Bill Becker and dentist Fred Troxell, with the idea that once people see what's going on beneath the surface, the more likely they would be to protect it, to a two-day festival that draws dozens of scuba divers, snorkelers, and boaters to the Keys from around the world. 35 years ago, a few Keys locals sat down and wanted to figure out a way to bring awareness to our coral reefs that would preserve them and rebuild them and restore them in any way, says Dave Turner, executive director of the Lower Keys Chamber of Commerce. They came up with this idea to play music underwater and invited divers and snorkelers to listen while also enjoying the local sea life. Number 2. Protecting the Environment the festival was created to introduce participants to the wonders of the coral reef that parallels the Keys Islands chain while encouraging its protection and environmentally responsible diving. Nowadays, it's not uncommon for divers to don shark or fish costumes before descending into the deep. But all fun aside, the festival's focus remains the same. The purpose is to protect the local coral reefs and dedicate marine environment that make up the Louis Key Sanctuary Preservation Area. According to the Florida Department of Environmental Protection, Florida is the only state in the continental United States with extensive shallow coral reefs formations near its coasts. Because coral reefs provide an important ecosystem for sea life, it's important that they remain protected, especially as many reefs around the world continue to be threatened. The preservation of the reef is our main purpose, Turner says. To avoid further damage, the festival takes place in a nearby sandy area so that the musicians don't disturb the coral when they're performing. Those planning to immerse themselves in the festival can learn about groundbreaking Florida Keys reef restoration efforts for free welcome can learn about groundbreaking Florida Keys reef restoration efforts for free, welcome gathering at Moat Marine Laboratory Elizabeth Moore International Center for Coral Reef Research and Restoration, 24244 Overseas Highway on Summerland Key. The facility's staff members are to be on hand Friday to offer tours and share information about Moat's extraordinary coral cultivation and restoration efforts. The Only in the Keys listening experience is paired with diver awareness announcements that emphasize ways to enjoy the reef while minimizing environmental impacts. Number 3. Actually makes sense Although holding a music festival underwater may seem a bit out there, Turner is quick to point out that it actually makes some sense. The music is obviously not as clear as when you're sitting in a room with a stereo, but you can still hear it and understand the lyrics and music, he says. If you were planning to go underwater, you would recognize the song, and it would sound the same. It just has a little different tone to it. Plus, sound travels faster and farther underwater. In the water, the sound travels 4.3 times faster than in the air, which only makes for the uniqueness of the experience. Several hundreds of divers and snorkelers come to enjoy such an ethereal experience when you can listen to music vibes not just with your ears, but your entire body. Number 4. Special Equipment The music program consists of pre-selected radio playlists. Ocean-themed songs are streamed through waterproof speakers hung from boats floating above the reef. Where else on the planet would you have a chance to rock to the soundtrack from The Little Mermaid, Jimmy Buffett's Fins, and The Beatles' Octopus's Garden? 
where would you see musician drivers with mermaids playing several instruments such as C pan flute and a fluke alili? These are the creations of a local artist, August Powers. For most of those years, August Powers, a local artist, crafts original musical instruments using non-corrosive tin and copper. These instruments are inspired by sea life and include amusing hybrids such as a bassoon and an oboe fish. That's a cross between an oboe and a blowfish. In years as past, he has created a trombone fish and a mandolin. Equipped with the guitars, horns, drums, and other musical instruments, divers descend into the depths and play along to a playlist of water-inspired songs. Think Yellow Submarine and the theme songs from Gilligan's Islands that are piped underwater via speakers. Local radio station US1 Radio 104.1 FM broadcasts the show live for non-divers to enjoy. Number 5. Louis Key Reef in the Florida Keys, the continental United States' only living coral barrier reef lies just a few kicks from the surface, a paradise for underwater enthusiasts looking for shallow, easy reef diving. The one-of-a-kind Louis Key Reef, an underwater wonder, lies about six miles south of Big Pine Key in the Florida Keys National Marine Sanctuary. Divers exploring Lower Keys waters can thank the crew of the British frigate HMS Louis for one of the most beautiful shallow reefs to be found. Why? Because the Louis ran aground in 1744, landing its name to a reef that's like no other in the Keys. Louis Key has been federally protected for more than 35 years, with prohibitions on spear or surface fishing and shell collecting. In this intriguing area, divers and snorkelers can explore a variety of structures. Patch reefs and spur and groove formations range from 5 to 35 feet, appealing to both novices and those with advanced experiences. Perhaps the greatest diversity of fish species in the Keys is found among the corals and sea fans of Louis Key. From Florida Bay, snook and permit can be spotted, while arrow crabs, trumpet fish, brittle stars, and the usual rare octopus can be found in nooks and crannies. Even sea turtles occasionally make a curious pass through. Easily accessible and not far from the spectacular underwater beauty of Louis Key Reef and American Shoal, southwest of Big Pine Key is the largest wreck available for sport diving in the lower keys. The 210-foot Adolphus Bush was intentionally sunk December 5, 1998 in 112 feet of water. At that time, it was the Lower Keys' first artificial reef and the first ship purposely scuttled as a Florida Keys artificial reef in 10 years. Built in Scotland in 1951, the Short Hall Island Freighter was previously called the London Top Sail Star, Windsor Trader, and Ocean Alley. It was christened Adolphus Bush Sr. by the Anshur Bush Brewery founder's grandson, Adolphus Bush IV, an avid diver and fisherman. And now, it's time for the bonus fact, but before we get into it, we would like to thank you for staying with us this far. According to members of the team that spearheaded the sinking, Bush the Fort wanted a permanent memorial to honor his grandfather, who originally entered the United States from Germany via Key West that would benefit both the environment and the Keys community. Now, nearly 20 years later, it's clear that he succeeded in his purpose. What do you think about this unique underwater concert? Is it something you would be willing to participate in? Comment down below and let us know. If you enjoy the content, uplift the channel by hitting like, subscribe, and ring the YouTube bell to meet us again in the next video. See you again next time. Yeah.